Hey guys, so it's your girl Vera Sidika and you're watching the sauce. Yes, because there's too much sauce in the sauce. <laughs> Bikinis uh, is pretty hard because most of them, yes, they don't fit. <laughs> but my jeans, I do get them when I travel because they, uh, they have a variety which actually really stretch. It's very stretchy, so it's easier when I travel. Yeah, but from here, it's very hard to find. Three exercises to burn belly fat. Hmm. I rarely exercise. I am mostly, yes, I really am, I'm just being honest. Well, I would exercise a little bit, but I wouldn't be consistent because I end up traveling. And, uh, you know, when I travel, that means no gym because you end up partying and then most, next day I wake up at 2 or 3 p.m. And that's just more like it. So I rarely exercise, but I would say I do take detox. I have a detox uh, tea that helps me a lot. It helps me stay in shape. Yeah, so it's like a shortcut. Well, I, I don't actually, actually, <laughs> just to be honest though, I don't listen to breakup songs. But yes, I did a breakup song and uh, it's kind of like inspirational to most women who've gone through the same situation that I have. So, yes. I wouldn't really name them, but I'd just say, uh, I think the first thing is, you know, someone who's very caring and responsible and good fearing as well and ambitious i like ambitious men yes i actually discovered my talent has elevated to the next level because i i went to school for um, interior design and i'm an artist i draw and i paint so it was more like okay this is this is interesting because i learned more about it and it was more like learning the theory the theoretical part of it because the practical i was good but i, I wasn't as good as what you learn in school so i think i'd say it uh, got me to the next level in terms of like polishing up my talent and getting it into you know a much more professional uh, uh situation <music> And what challenges have I faced as a businesswoman? Well, I would say, uh, I think I'm impatient <laughs> a little bit, but in business you have to be very patient and I'm learning that as well, because uh, when you're patient, you get to see the fruits of the business. Uh, when you're impatient, you always tend to want to give up at some point because you want it fast and you want it so bad. Uh, but in business, you have to take it one step at a time. You cannot just set up a business and expect it to blow up immediately because it's just like two months old into the salon business. My Vitox has been on for a year and a half, I'd say, a year and a half now, and it's doing really well. So that one, 100%, I'm very, very okay. And it's not competitive in Kenya, so pretty much good. Yeah. I honestly don't have a competition. I honestly don't have a competition at all. Um, I am running my own race. Thank you.